Hey guys, hope you're okay. This is just a quick video to show you how to get QPoint to output MIDI time code over the network to another Mac. So essentially I've got QPoint here open where when you hit it, it plays the time code. Let's just mute that. Um, I'm using this device, this software called Loopback to allow me to create like a virtual left and right with other channels. And then in here, I've got, in my QPoint, I've got Open audio, if you have an audio config, then you could select your like virtual interface. This software is called Loopback. It is paid, but it's a one-time license. And so it's QPoint to do that. And then I've got the outputs of left and right track audio, and then the LTC timecode coming out of here. And then there's this software called Lockstep, available from Figure 53, I think it is, same people who make QLab, that can take in an LTC input and output over an MTC output. So if you go into your audio MIDI settings and you go into like here with this to get to the MIDI studio, video, you go Windows, show MIDI studio, MIDI studio, sorry. And down here and then you click this button. And then I've got like a virtual one set up um, where I've joined a participant, which is that Mac over here. It's joining the same shared thing you can see there and then it on it it's running this time code display which is this this is also a thing by figure 53 same people make qlab so that shows the time code so essentially loop back outputs the channels one and two directly to the macbook speakers three and four stay there and go into this so when i hit Close that down. When I hit space, that plays. You see it here, it's receiving. It knows what the time code is here, but you can see here that that's the time code there. No sound coming out here because of course it's muted. And then over here, the time code is being updated in accordance with what's being shown on here. Simples. I also have this running. I can't remember what this is called. This is something like Bitfusion. Let me just have a look. Bit Bitfusion companion to allow me to start and stop the time code, the, the cue point. It also lets me record a cue point. And these are the lights for the room. So if I press that, the lights go off in the room. Lights come on in the room. Except simple. Just a quick setup. Normally there'd be an Avo Lights lighting desk here with capture on here, but I'll show you that when I get it back.